everyone. Myself, I am Uma and I have overall eight plus years of IT experience as a data analyst and four years of experience as a corporate trainer. I'm a Microsoft certified data analyst and a corporate trainer and currently working at Microsoft. Hi everyone, welcome to KS Data Vision YouTube channel. In today's session, we will see uh, the recent updates of Power BI that is January 2023 updates. So the most of the updates are with respect to this Power BI report server. Power BI report server January 2023 updates. So uh, just like we have right in Power BI desktop, there were multiple updates in the past few months. So now as part of January 2023, they have made some updates to this Power BI report server. So for someone who doesn't know what exactly is this Power BI report server, it's basically uh, an on-prem server with a web portal in which you can display and you can manage all your reports and KPIs. Okay, you can also download that Power BI report server from here. So this is the official Microsoft link. Okay, official uh, Microsoft website where they have posted this January 2023 future summary. Okay. In the description box, I will also add the link to this. So what all the updates they have ma made here is with respect to report server, they have uh, made some releases that is on the color update and the file migration tool also dot RDL and PBIX file, the migration tool. And with respect to reporting, they have made some uh, changes with respect to queries and reverse act uh, column chart. So let's see this. Let's go through this uh, on a high level. Let's see what all the features available in this Power BI report server as part of January 2023 update. Okay, first one is in this report server, the color update they have done. Also, if you can see here, right, publish.rdln.pbix files to Power BI from Power BI report server. So this is how the Power BI report server looks like and here there is an option like how you can publish it means you can also migrate the reports without report server downtime right. So these all some of the updates they have done in detailed what is this you can go through this link. Okay, coming to this reporting part here they have made some changes to the stack to column chart that is the reverse stack order. In this reverse stack order is now possible in Power BI report server. So how you can do that formatting changes? What is that something new that they have added here? Reverse stack order. If you can turn on this, you can change it accordingly. You can toggle. And also coming to the query performance improvements. So indexing is the concept which they have come up with okay for the string values for the string values when you search that in an advanced um, filtering option so basically it takes some time so now to improve that search option right they have come up with some uh, query performance improvements so that is what they have mentioned here and they are pushing this now filtering this filter option to direct query sources so to improve the performance, they have changed this behavior by pushing the top end filters to direct query sources when possible. Okay. And also coming to the small multiples. So what exactly is this small multiples? I have already created one more video on that. You can go and uh, check that uh, video. So what exactly is that small multiples? You will understand from there. So here they have come up with some changes that is unshared and unsynchronized access for small multiple charts. So this is how a small multiple chart will look like. And in these options, they have come up with some options. Okay, turning off the shared Y axis. Here you have some option, right? Shared Y axis, it is on. If you turn off it, it will give each of your small multiples their own axis. So you can see the difference between here and difference between here. Right here, for this all, it is one shared axis. For all these visuals, the common shared axis is here. This is the X axis. This is the Y axis. Now you have got an option here. And when you turn, uh, when you turn off the shared Y axis, you can see for each visual, you are getting that their own axis. Right? 
and also you can uh, turn on the scale to fit the option that will change their automatic scaling. This is something with respect to small multiples. And also slicer formatting also. Uh, earlier some changes you can do on the slicer in the canvas area itself. Now it has moved into this format pane. So here you can see all the slicer settings. You can see it from the, you can change for that uh, specific slicer from this slicer setting options in the format pane. Earlier you can, you were able to do on the canvas area itself for that slicer. Now you have to do, uh, if you want to change that uh, the slicer type, all the options if you want to explore, you have to go from the slicer settings in the format pane. And coming to the modeling part, now in the Power BI report server, even the tax formula bar supports for desktop model view. So for this view, you can also see this formula bar. And they have also introduced Microsoft Teams. They have come up with some new functions like evaluate and log evaluate and log functions so i will create one separate video for this dax functions what are the new functions which they have released so how does this work i will create one separate videos and also two new functions two csv and two json functions they have all created so this will function what will this function do it will convert the input table to respective csv or json file it's interesting, right? So let me make some videos on these functions as well. Index function, offset, window functions. So all these are different functions, okay? They have provided. Just like in SQL, we do have all these window functions, index, offset values. The same way they have also implemented all these DAX functions, okay? In detailed, what exactly is this function? They have explained clearly. With the definition and example showing the visual representation and how this function has to be used. So this is the Power BI January 2023 update. So this update is completely on Power BI report server. Okay, Power BI report server but not on desktop, Power BI desktop. So you, uh, this link, you can please go through this link to try to understand more in detail about this Power BI report server January 2023 update. So uh, please do like, share and subscribe to our KSR Data Vision YouTube channel for more such informative videos. And the link to this update is provided in the description box. If any update is happening on the Power BI desktop, then we will come back with some one more video. Thank you. Thank you all.